Here we're asked to condense this logarithmic expression. And I put a dot, dot, dot there because the rest of the instruction should read that I want this as a single logarithm that has expressed all of the powers out front as exponents. So I have a logarithm whose coefficient is one. There's actually more than one way to start a problem like this, but I'm gonna start on the inside of these brackets. So the expression I'm given is equal to one third times. And I'm gonna go on and condense this using the properties of logarithms. The first thing I'm gonna do is move that power to the inside. Minus the natural log of x, minus the natural log of x squared, minus 25. And so now I'm gonna use the sum and difference properties of logarithms to write that as a single natural log. All right, so I have the natural log of, and the positive thing, x plus six to the fifth on top, x times x squared minus 25 on the bottom. And so I've rewritten this as a single log, but I don't have that one out front yet, so I need to move the one third to the inside. It's either a power or, as I'm going to write it, a cube root. It would be no problem to write that as a one third. We could even distribute the one third to the things on the top and the bottom, but here's a condensed natural logarithm that involved algebraic expressions.